Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, um, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on the 4x4 that you can actually apply and solves and stuff like that. So let's get started. So basically, I'm just going to do a scramble right now, so I'll be back. But anyway, guys, here's the solve cube. Um, yeah, I have some news. So last night, I was speed cubing, and then all of a sudden, my cube just pops, and I'm like, what why would it pop i mean i didn't do anything but so sorry my hat is hitting the thing i'll take it off but um so here we go so first of all you have this piece here if you have this piece here and then this one up top you can do an f move to move that one there then do this one here and then do the inserting algorithm and then you have a bar so then you find the next one it'd be here do an F move so they're like that. And then you do an F move like that. And then you just bring them together to make that. And then you might have this, which is like just this pair. Real easy. You can just go um, an L move. And then go wide U. And then you have this piece and this piece. Insert it. You have that bar, this bar. Insert this bar first. You move, well, yeah, F move, double U move, and like this, like that. Then you have that bar, and you have this bar with this one. So bring it like that. Then you'll have to do this, but with the two. And then you just insert it like that. And then, so you have this here. This would be red. So one, two, like that, you know, just like that. And then you have the orange and this, you know, just insert that algorithm. And then you have that. So you might find on the last pair that you have this here. You want to bring it down that identically across. And so whether I'm across, you know, you just do the regular um, algorithm for that. And then you have that. Um, so yeah, I mean. And if you don't remember in the tutorial, you might have this piece here, this flipped edge with this piece and this piece. You just do pillow parity. I mean, you know, just pillow parity. And I don't remember saying this in another video, but you have this little mechanism here, like that. And then you have this piece, this piece. You just want to do this. It immediately creates that thing. And the thing I do on... Oh, man. Okay. The thing I like to do on OLL is not rotate. That just takes too long. I always like to do a U move. So, then I take it. Finish it like that. Then you have this. Then I don't know any other way to do this but this. So, sorry about that. Then you have this mechanism. <laughs> Oh my god, why am I saying mechanism? Okay guys, I gotta fix my board. Okay guys, so in this section we have this piece, this piece. I'm just basically going to do that. I don't know if this is the right way to finish it. Then you have this. This is called PLL parity. It is really easy. You just gotta do this. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy on PLL parody. It's just super easy. Um. Also, guys, I started a WCA account, so that is good. So, yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, actually, I'm going to show you something real quick. So, if you ever find this in a PLL par um, an OLL parody thing, it's, you're going to have these two things here. And this is flipped. So what you want to do, instead of just doing regular pillow parity, which would, like, destroy this amazing thing, like, I'll show you. You also get something really cool. So you want to do an M move, like that, and then do pillow parity. And then that, and then you have this little thing. Do it again. 
and I thought I'd give him a little skip. Wait, hold on. Time out. Okay, so anyway, I was right, I'm pretty sure. I'm supposed to do the end move the right way. And so I'm gonna try this again. And so, let's see. Yes, and you get an OL skip to solve the cube. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It'll help me and the channel out a lot. Notification bell just takes two seconds. You just gotta click it and then match the other thing. And also, go to Blaze the Fancy Gecko. Amazing channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.